Now, Bayesha State Muslims there have advised Nigerians never to forget the sacrifices made by ex-servicemen in keeping the nation together. At a special Jumat prayer held at the Bayesha State Central Mosque in Yenogwa, the Muslims also advised the federal government to prioritize the welfare of those who have served the country, as well as families of fallen heroes. Our correspondent, Jesse Esse, completes this report. Allah, eh? Muslim faithful offering prayers for ex-servicemen of the country. They desire an end to terrorism and want better packages for families of fallen heroes. The federal government must, as a matter of fact, make deliberate and courageous effort to end banditry, banditry and uh, terrorism and must do so, minimizing how much of our military personnel that go down the drain at the war front at the state level. We call on the security agency to collaborate with the state government to get rid of security challenges on the waterways and the state in general. Because those men, they are fought. Some of them sacrifice their life. So we should not let our fallen heroes, their efforts go in vain. So we do this celebration in this reason. We like to be peace, one Nigeria and the world as a whole. And like this afternoon, Every place is calm and peace. So as the Nigerians, we pray for those who fought for the war. The step is described as one in the right direction. That you people devoted to pray for the veterans uh, is a good thing. Uh, we pray that uh, it's an annual event. So we we'll continue to be alive to see this kind of days. God will multiply our Yes. Today, some of them are no more. Some of them are maimed. Some of them are incapacitated. So the Muslim faithfuls having a Juma prayer in the mocks for the um, fallen heroes is laudable. The special Juma prayer is part of activities to mark the 2022 and.